Isn't the last door supposed to be really exciting? I just got that. Lisa, I told you so moment. No, it's definitely not toast, and that's it, it's risen. A bit of onion there. Good morning. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I've literally just been sitting here finishing off the previous video. So this is a complete continuation from last, from yesterday's vlog or the day before vlog. I don't know, I'm losing contact. Um, yeah, from the day before. It is Sunday, the 22nd of December. And it's early in the morning, well, early-ish. I've just been working for a bit. Aid is making coffee. And today we are going to conquer the kit, um, not kit packing, the gift wrapping. We've got all the wrapping to do. I did my table presents yesterday. They were in yesterday's video, which is linked below. That's all done. Today we're going to be doing all the other wrapping and I want to do a really fun dinner tonight. We've actually got the four of us around the table and I want to do something really, really fun for dinner. I like having those kind of meals where you have loads of bits and pieces in the middle. So there's going to be some food in this video as well. And I really hope you enjoy. You can go and find me on Instagram. I am the Funky Fairy for my personal account and Lollipop Box Club is my creative business account. Hope you're doing well, hope you're feeling okay with Christmas, it's very, very soon. A few weeks ago, we treated ourselves to a waffle maker. Aids on coffee duty, excuse the noise. Um, and we thought we would have time to practice using it before Christmas day. And I thought I might even be able to freeze some waffles, make some vegan waffles for Holly as well. And this is the first time I've actually opened it um, on the 22nd of December. So I've just given it a bit of a wipe down. Um, it's a Fun Chef one there it got really good reviews on Amazon it wasn't overly expensive and it can make two good waffles I really if you're a Disney fan you will know how amazing the waffles are from Some Sleepy Girl. Hollow I put the coffee machine on I want to recreate this Sleepy Hollow waffle waffles I've got a recipe that somebody actually recommended on Amazon so I've screenshot it and I'm gonna try and attempt that today Little change of plan as coffee's ready. So I'm gonna make waffles in a bit. Um, I'll show you the recipe that I am going to be using. It's on my phone. I'm just gonna mix all those ingredients together. Um, Aid wanted me to get the instructions out for the machine and I can't find them. They don't seem to be any in the box. So I guess it's just heat and pop in and see what happens. I realize I haven't done my advent calendar for days. So I'm going to do that now. It was one that I picked up in Superdrug last year. Um, is that the last one, isn't it? I guess I can do all of these, to be honest, can't I? I realise that I don't need an advent calendar last anymore because I never open them. I think they're just wasted on me, really. What's this? And I, Oh, I can get that one out. That is a coconut. I've already had a coconut lip balm, so that's my second one. I think they ran out of ideas for some of these. We've got another bath fizzer, so we've now got two. That's vanilla, that's coconut. They weren't very um, exciting with their fragrances, were they? It's all vanilla and um, thingy. Oh, what's that one? A vanilla body wash. We've had the bath salts. Let's do number 10. Oh, what's that one? That is a... And I just can never get them out massage gently into the body I'm guessing that's a body lotion should we guess coconut and I'm just going to open the last one because I'm not going to remember to open it another time what's the oh the exciting thing the last one is I think that's something you scrub your body with I'm so glad I didn't pay more than two pounds for this I would have been really disappointed if I'd have paid full price isn't the last door supposed to be really exciting? I just got that. <sighs> oh, like I said, I'm really glad I didn't pay more than two pounds. Probably gift some of those bits. Actually, I am doing a game on Christmas Day and it involves loads and loads and loads of presents. So I might actually wrap those up. That would be really good. Um, I need to do that gift game. I might get around to doing that today actually or it might be tomorrow now I'm not sure um but I'll share it with you anyway I still don't know completely what I'm doing but yeah thanks super drug Disney 
So I'm just, or we're watching some Disney vlogs and I'm actually going to start wrapping up some of these little gifts. This is going to be a game that we're going to be playing on Christmas day and I need to wrap up 30 little mini gifts and I'll tell you more about the game in a bit. It's 11 o'clock, Aid's just taken Louis to work at Waitrose and I'm gonna get making the waffles. We've actually, we love it on a Sunday morning. Uh, Lisa Faulkner and John Rhodes, they do a um, cooking show together and we really enjoy watching them and they're making little mini pot pies. The light's just gone. Um, and they look so good. And we're actually talking about maybe tomorrow making some cheese and onion pot pies. I love a pot pie and I haven't made one for ages. They're using muffin trays to make them in and then just cutting two circles of pastry from ready rolled pastry um, in doing the circle, popping in the filling and then pressing over the other circle and baking in the oven 200 degrees for 20 minutes i really really want to make those tomorrow i'm going to get on with the waffles now and we're going to have that for brunch so i've got everything here in my bowl and i'm just going to whisk it up it's quite thick much thicker than a pancake mix which i guess it's supposed to the mixture is really thick so i would never use this before i'm going to get rid of this that does look quite thick it is well it's got otherwise it would just run out wouldn't it mm. should i just put we put a do you want to try bit? one could do yeah see what it's like well, i've made the mixture now though okay i'll put both in was that from a recipe yeah i've shown i've shared the recipe already this was the one that somebody on the amazon um reviews that actually, is a lot for that one at the moment. I would actually left, and they said that they made it, and every time it's come out perfect. But it needs to fill it, doesn't it? Yeah, but don't forget it's going to rise a bit, isn't it? I don't know. It's not kind of spreading, is it? Should Seems we leave it like that? Quite gloopy, doesn't it? Yeah. Should we let it do its thing? Yeah. I'll just close it. Does there's no clip? No, I know there's not. I'm it does it on it. its own, I think. So, so I think do, it, does it? Do it'll we... keep cycling around so when it's the green light i think it means like the heat comes on yeah and then that'll turn off so we've just got to check it every now and again okay right i'm gonna but i think this will rise basically because there's no clip okay i think as it gets bigger is this right. a i told you so moment that's no, definitely not toast and that's it's risen but that's gone way too high because obviously that's there yeah, we're, we're gonna have to way. open it up are we yeah that's not gonna it's oh not gonna... no that's fine no let's let it do its thing Okay, well we know that's too... What we need to do... You, have you got a cup measure? No. We need to actually almost measure, so when it comes to it another time, trial and error, we know how much to put in. I'm it. really shocked. That's literally, what, been two or three minutes? That won't be cooked in the middle yet, though, will it? Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, because you've got loads in there. Oh, okay. It looks really good, though. And actually, to be honest, not that much came out. It looked worse than it was, no, I think. No, but I think we can get away with less mixture in there. Okay, well, yeah. let's just cook it for a bit longer then. Right, it's all done. This, that's amazing. For the first wow. time we're using that. How clean quickly, that is as well. Shall I quickly do another one? Yeah, go on. Should we, we eat that one here while we're doing this other one? No, I want oh, to get it okay. It really didn't take very long, did it? So I'm going to use slightly less this time. Still think you should have measured it out. That's two oh, spoons, I isn't two it? Two spoons. But then I wonder. Oh, maybe one more. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so um, three spoons. That's definitely a lot less than I used. Should we just push it down, see if it spreads out. Okay. Do you want me to lower it? That's, yeah, come on. Then. Just to see. Let's see what happens to it. See if it. I think it is a trial and error thing, isn't it? Okay. That's still coming out a little bit. It's not. Like so, no, so. Yeah. There's still too much there. Mm. I think we need to spread it out a bit. Love happily ever after. We've got to keep music. talking, otherwise it's going to be I love it so mama. much. <laughs> I've made mine. <laughs> Just waiting for AIDS to finish. I think it looks really cool. I think next time I might add a little bit more sugar to the mix, though. They look nice. Don't I they? still wonder if they need to be a little bit more liquid. I'm really, really impressed with these. Did you just take your Instagram photo? Yeah, I'm not going to do the same as what yours was. They're so good. The waffles are absolutely delicious. I don't think I would actually add any extra sugar. I think I would leave it them as they are because I think with the toppings, Aid added syrup on his as well. Um, it would be a bit too sweet, but I really recommend it. I'll link up the machine that I've bought below um, just in case anyone is interested. 
um really impressed i'm glad i read all the reviews we are going to do some gift wrapping we need to get all the kids stuff done so we're just bringing everything down and we are wrapping that we always have this thing where we wrap all their stuff in their own individual gift wrap and so that way they each know what their gift wrap is we um there's a surprise package on their beds on christmas eve night when they take a bath and they each have a pair of pajamas to open and that's wrapped in their special christmas wrap as is their stocking gifts on christmas morning so when they come downstairs they know what their gift wrap is and then they can just open all their own gifts so we're gonna start wrapping everything i think we're gonna put um daddy's home too on we really love that christmas movie we're just watching tim tracker's um review or tour i should say of the new riviera resort at um what disney world have you seen it yet it looks really nice um i wouldn't mind going over to have a little nose actually to see what it's like when we go over next by the way i meant to say with regards to the game that we're playing on christmas day one of you kindly left a comment um a few days ago explaining a game that you're playing on christmas day and it's like you know when you have like the office game and i've played them before at like um various like osborne book parties and things like that when you do a gift swap and you have things wrapped up and then you have to swap between you and that kind of thing it's that kind of game there's so many different variations actually so have a look online if it interests you for like um i think like gift christmas gift swap game or something like that aids played them in the office before and so we're going to do that so that's why i've got all those little gifts wrapped i thought it would be a really nice way just to keep everyone at the table just a bit longer on christmas day and it's something for all ages so i've wrapped up like chocolates cookies i've wrapped up um I've actually used a lot of the items from my advent, the bath salts, the bath fizzers, um, that kind of thing. What else have I got? I've got face packs, um, I've got candles, little mini Yankee candles. So nothing's really cost much money. I bought quite a few chocolatey bits in Lidl and biscuits that were under 50p. Um, so it's just loads of bits and pieces and then afterwards people can just swap with what they want and what they don't want with each other. What are your favourite games to play at Christmas? We do love playing games. Um, the board games will definitely be coming out as well. Um, I actually like classic Ludo. I really do like a game of Ludo. Um, I'm not very competitive though and I just really enjoy it and sometimes people in our family are just a bit too competitive for my liking and um, I just like to actually just sit down and have that time together. I really enjoy that. I have a huge dress on Vicky Shipper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you make a five hour trip for mine. By the way, I'm just editing the video to go up and I asked you a question about that joke gift. Who did you think it was from? Um, or for, I should say. It's for my sister. She's the smelliest person I know and um, it's a very well suited gift for her. So well done to you if you guessed correctly. I have, by the way, started a new Facebook group. It's a Life with Lisa chat group and it's everything but the craft. All the creative stuff is obviously, belongs at the Lollipop Box Club um, chat group. But everything else, or like the Disney chat, trips chat, cooking, shopping bargains, anything like that, I am moving into, or rather inviting it into the new chat group, The Life with Lisa. I really want the lollipop to remain as the base for the creative talk or the organizing motivational Monday, all that kind of thing. But everything else is now welcome over in Life with Lisa. Ada and myself are admining, so he will be in there too. And I've literally just put the invitations out in the chat group and on my own Facebook page. And so I will leave a link to that below. It's brand new, I'm just opening it today on what's today sunday so if you would like to come and join that please do so it's free it's just a facebook group but it's just so nice when you've got so many like-minded people that come and chat and that's something else i wanted to say actually i woke this morning feeling really low i think i'm just really tired i've worked so many hours not low but you know you wake up and just slightly more uninspired than lately than normal 
and um, I went into my group this morning into my lollipop chat group and it was so nice I didn't go in yesterday or really the day before because we've just been so busy and just seeing everyone chatting amongst each other so many people have made such beautiful things Melissa Melissa made this mini book and I felt like crying when I saw it I felt so emotional I didn't realize um, that she's um, oh, I've just got a message from my son asking me to pick him up from work um, she's 15 and she's created her first ever mini book and it's a gift for somebody for Christmas it's beautiful so much time and love has gone into that mini book and the fact that she's been inspired and then also shared it with our group it's just it really took me and I just felt like just seeing everyone chatting and there's so many nice friendships that have been made within that group and it just made me feel so happy and I thought that's what my business is all about just making people happy spreading a bit of love and joy and I just felt so lifted and inspired so thank you to everyone who visits that group you don't know how much you mean to me you really do I need to go and pick up Louis he wants to lift from work because he wants to come home and watch the Chelsea game so I'm about to make dinner and I want to do like a fun family dinner everything in the middle of the table picked up these tortilla bowls they're like little mini ones I think I've got two bags of those I'm going to make up a bowl of like taco mints um, a meat one and a vegan one I'm also going to do like a bowl of shredded salad, um, a bowl of homemade salsa, I've got hummus and grated cheese as well and then everyone can just help themselves. So I'm going to fry off very lightly, hold on, Aid has something. My hands are clean. Aid's on cheese and onion duty. <gasps> <gasps> you dropped it, thank That's you. That's not too much. Mm -mm. Not so perfect, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fry off um, half an onion and I've got three really big cloves of garlic. I'm going to fry all that together and add some peppers as well. So in here I've got some of Holly's um, vegan mints with some tin tomatoes and I'm going to then add some of the peppers, onion and garlic to that. And then to both pans I'm adding ground um, cumin seeds, garlic salt, ground coriander, and ground cumin and plenty of seasoning and a squirt of ketchup and tin tomatoes as well. So the mince is done, Holly's is done. Holly's actually is nicer than ours, I have to say. And we're just getting the salad and everything else up together. I've just made homemade salsa and we're gonna take everything to the table. A bit of onion there. Dinner was oh gosh that's bright absolutely amazing it was so delicious and really really yummy i really like those little taco-y scoops they're really good it is 20 past eight um we're on or aids on like an in and out in and out kind of thing um he's currently on his fifth um car trip with the kids today or at least um sort of in between them not um both of them um, they're both out this evening, different places. Louis at an 18th birthday, Holly is at the pub with work, and it's an in and out type of evening. Um, lifts at different times, giving other people lifts as well, friends. So um, it's a funny evening. It, so um, yeah, I've stuck the kettle on. I think we're talking about possibly watching the first Jumanji, not the original original, but the one with um, The Rock in. So we might watch that this evening. Um, I'm just working at the moment. Um, I've got an early start tomorrow. Both kids start work at seven o'clock. They're on the turkey run at Waitrose tomorrow, both doing overtime. So we've got a lovely day on our own and they're away overnight as well. So that's really, really nice. A bit of peace and quiet and we've got a lovely day planned tomorrow. So I may well vlog that too. But thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna finish up here. I've got a wonky hair thing going on. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. We've had a lovely day lovely food and I've managed to work but not feel like I've worked which is always good and we've got the kids gift presents uh, pre I can't speak anymore gifts wrapped as well so that's really really good but thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow and have a lovely day thank you bye